North Korea's ballistic missile and nuclear program, China's more muscular presence in the Indo-Pacific, and growing ties between Pyongyang, Moscow, and Beijing provide a backdrop to the upcoming trilateral summit between the U.S., Japan, and South Korea. Picking up from their May meeting in Japan, the leaders will convene this Friday at Camp David, a presidential retreat near Washington that has hosted foreign leaders in the past. You'll see um, some very concrete measures that we're taking uh, to enhance our capacity to uh, provide for our security as, as three countries and also, uh, more broadly, security in the uh, Indo-Pacific region. The measures are expected to include an enhanced early warning system against North Korean missiles, extended nuclear deterrence, and increased military exercises and cybersecurity cooperation. It's a remarkable milestone in the historically complicated relationship between Seoul and its former colonizer, Tokyo. Korea and Japan are now partners who share universal values and pursue common interests. Cooperation to block semiconductor exports to China and other economic security issues will also be a focus. China opposes relevant countries forming cliques of all kinds, as well as their practices of exacerbating confrontation and jeopardizing other countries' strategic security. Friday's summit will be key in the Biden administration's push for more institutionalized cooperation that would continue despite changes in leadership among the three allies. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News, Washington.